YouTube, what is going on? It has been so long since I've done a video for you guys, so I should have some coming out in the next couple weeks. I actually haven't been on YouTube hardly at all, but I just got on YouTube and I saw some videos. I saw one by Erin Hayes, as I'm sure many of you guys know. She is such an inspiring uh, future doctor to be. Um, she crushes her exam. She's always so positive, and just I love watching her videos when I do get to catch up with her and kind of see what's been going on in her life. And so, well, I just recently saw that she put out this video called All of My Scores, College and Med School. And to be honest, that is something I've gotten asked a lot about is what scores I had on the MCAT in undergrad, my step scores and things of that nature. And honestly, I just wasn't bold enough to really come out and make a video on it. But Mrs. Aaron Hayes, huge shout out to you. You've inspired me to do so. And for the sole purpose that you did it, um, and that is to help others and that they may be in the same situation and maybe didn't do well in the MCAT like I didn't do and or maybe that their undergrad scores weren't quite as good or whatever it may be hopefully this will still encourage people to follow their dreams and pursue medicine so Aaron Hayes huge shout out to you thank you so much for everything you do and all of your videos so in this video I will be telling you guys all of my scores in undergrad MCAT my step scores so, before I get to this video, I want you guys to know that you are greatly, greatly loved and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created and that you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine. All right, all right, all right. So let's get right into it. So let's start off with the undergrad. And so I went to undergrad mainly to play football and also I majored in biomedical chemistry. Um, but I always, like throughout high school and college, I made very good grades because I studied extremely, extremely hard. In high school, I always got made fun of because uh, going to a football game or a basketball game, I'd always have my biology book or my anatomy book with me. So I was constantly studying. So I guess we can start off with high school actually. So high school, I graduated with a 4.2 GPA. And again, it was just because I studied nonstop and I did graduate as valedictorian. Um, and then in undergraduate, I majored in biomedical chemistry, so you know, all of the sciences and things like that. And again, again, I want to kind of go off of what Aaron said. Again, none of this is to brag whatsoever, and you'll know that when I tell you my MCAT score. It's mainly to help you guys if you may be in a similar, similar situation going into medical school. All right, so undergrad biomedical chemistry, I graduated with a 3.89 I believe like between a 3.83 and a 3.89 so my GPA was pretty good and my science GPA was around that as well it was like a 3.8 so my GPA in terms of the sciences was very good and here is where we kind of go and crash and burn okay and that is for the MCAT and I'm using my phone right now because I really want to know what the conversion would be okay so with the MCAT I went to a very small undergrad I did not know that the MCAT was such a hard exam, nor did I know how important it was. And so everyone watching, your MCAT score is extremely, extremely important. Okay, so make sure you study for it. Um, so I'm, I'm going to look up the MCAT old score to new. Okay, so let's see. Here we go. I think this is the MCAT conversion that we could use. So just so you guys know, on the old scoring system, which I think Aaron Hayes made a 35, maybe even more than that, which blows my mind. Uh, that's so impressive. But so I made a 17. So to put that in perspective, one, her MCAT score was double mine. Um, and we shouldn't compare it to one another, but we all do it. Um, but so hers was, you know, far more than mine. So old MCAT score, mine was a 17. So on the new scoring system, that would be a 486 and would be in the 12th percent. Yeah, the 12th percentile. So yeah, my score was very, very, very low on the MCAT. And how did I study for it? Even though none of you guys probably want to know, you probably already shut off the video. I didn't. I honestly didn't. I thought I made good grades. I should, I've should. i done well on exams. I should do well on the MCAT. And just for everyone else out there, no matter what your GPA is or how well you did in high school or undergrad, it doesn't matter. Study hard for the MCAT. I would highly recommend a lot of questions, QBanks, um, and review sources such as Kaplan. 
Okay, next we can go on to the step exam. So on step one, I was very determined, oh, sorry, for medical school. In medical school, I graduated medical school with a very good GPA as well. It was like a three point, I think a 3.7, somewhere around there. And then so for step one, which is the most important, um, you know, of your board exams, for step one, I scored a 227 which honestly I was disappointed with because I had on all of my MBMEs that I had been taking, I'd been scoring like in the 240s. So it was much lower than I kind of predicted myself to score, but I was still happy and thankful um, that God helped me to pass and to you know continue on. And so how I studied for step one was really the UFAP method. So UWorld, First Aid, and Pathoma. So I used those three resources along um, with um, a little bit of sketchy here and there. And using those resources, I'd use spaced repetition and I studied uh, for eight weeks for step one. All right, and that brings us to step two. Step two, I studied for four and a half weeks, I believe, and I used solely online med ed and UWorld, the only resources I used whatsoever. And on step two CK, I scored a 254. So from a 227 to a 254, Truly believe that was because of online med ed. And again, I use spaced repetition um, with online med ed. I made sure I knew everything in all of those notes and definitely um, it helped improve my scores. And so that's kind of like all of my grades and all of my scores. Um, I guess I actually have my in training exam scores now for residency. And in both of those, I scored, I believe, 80%. 80% so that would put me at a very hyper likelihood of passing my boards already so that's very good as well and so um, I will make a video in the future about how I overcame a low MCAT score um, and how I improved to go on to score well on the step exams but I just want to kind of encourage you guys that even if you didn't do well in the MCAT or even if you have a low GPA that doesn't mean it's in the end of the road for you and there is still a light at the end of the tunnel. And so please never give up on your dreams. And if being a doctor is truly what you want to do deep down in your heart, do not let anything in the world stand in the way of that. All right, guys, that's all of my uh, scores. And again, shout out to Aaron Hayes for giving me the courage to make this video. God bless you guys. And to end this video with, I want you guys to know that you are greatly, greatly loved, and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created, and you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine.